Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Little Cookie Co. I'll be showing you how to make some adorable Christmas faces. So let's get right into it. First up, we're going to have our snowman cookie. So about or halfway down the cookie, I'm going to put a straight line across. So I touch down to secure my piping consistency here, my outline. And I'm going to touch down again and lift the bag up and go on the top half of the circle. You can see my bag is lifted up and then when I come to the point where I've started my outline there, I touch back down to secure the icing. And this is our outline. And then I'm gonna go with my flat icing, my looser consistency here. We use a looser icing because it will settle nicely and it'll become flat. If you use an icing that's a little bit too thick, then you can't really get that flat, nice, smooth look that royal icing cookies are known for. I'll make sure to link all the colors I'm using in the description below the video. And if you ever need to smooth out your icing a little bit more, you can go in with a scribe. If your icing's on the little bit of a thicker side, you might have to smooth it out a little bit more. I like mine to be nice and loose so that it kind of settles itself. It takes less time for me to sit there and try to wiggle it to be nice and smooth. And then I'm going to do the bottom half of the face. And again, we're just going to outline. So I touch down, lift my bag up and touch back down where I'm going to stop. And notice how the top half has already dried for like half an hour, 45 minutes or so. I want to let it dry because I just want a little bit of a distinction there. And sometimes when you have a dark color like green and you know, a white next to each other when they're wet, both of them, sometimes the colors run into each other or sort of seep into each other a lot easier. So I like to dry one section and then pipe the next. And we're going to go ahead and flood this section as well. If you guys need any recipes um, on royal icing or how to make cookies, I have it all on my YouTube channel where I talk about consistency as well. And here I'm going to use my red outline consistency and I'm just doing little circles, you know, little squiggles. I kind of want a rough look to this. I don't want to smooth it out because this is the part of his hat there. So I just wanted to give it like a fluffy sort of look. And then I'm going to go in with my orange and I'm going to do a little nose and I'm just going to zigzag back and forth. And again, I don't want a super smooth look here. I want to give a little detail to the carrot. So that's my outline consistency to keep a little bit of that detail so it doesn't all melt together. And then with his eyes, again with my outline consistency, I want to make sure that those dots stay nice and round and they don't sort of melt away. So these are all my little details that I use my thicker outline consistency. And then on top of his hat, we're just going to add a little bit of a fluffy part on his toque there. And again, just a rough little squiggle here, a dot. Doesn't have to be smooth because we want it to be fluffy. And there we have our snowman. Okay, so next up we have our Rudolph cookie. Now I've got my scissors here and I'm just scraping in a line, a rough line of where I want the bottom of his face to be. Sometimes I like to do this if I'm doing uh, certain, you know, shapes. I just want to make it even on both sides. Sometimes when I'm piping, I think I'm going evenly, but it turns out a little wonky. So sometimes I take something sharp, my scissors, a little bit of a knife, or like sometimes even my scribe and I'll just sort of etch a mark in, just so I know roughly where to pipe. And here I'm using my outline consistency in my dark brown, and I'm just gonna top do a half circle there, and then I'm gonna do the top of his head. And you can see I'm going slow around the edges, trying to get that right up to the edge. And then I'm gonna slowly bring my bag down and touch down the icing. Every time we want to secure the icing, we want to touch it down to the cookie or touch it down to the icing outline we started with. And again, with my flat, I'm going to go around and I'm putting, you know, a sort of medium pressure on the bag. If your hole is really small and you're finding yourself squeezing the bag really hard, you might want to cut a little bit of a bigger hole. Always cut tiny, tiny, tiny amounts off. You don't want to cut it too big and have that icing just flowing out of your bag. These are um, maybe about two and a half, three inch cookies. 
They're on the smaller side of what I normally decorate and so I like to have a smaller hole just to have more control over my icing. And if I have any small sections, it's easier to flood. And you can see how my flood mostly melts together. That's a looser flood so that it kind of does the work on its own. I don't have to use my scribe too much. If you have a little bit of a thicker flood, you have to work at it a little bit longer to get it nice and smooth. And now that my top section has dried, I'm going to work on the bottom here. So I'm going to outline the bottom section. I just need one outline here on the bottom and then I can go in and flood. The reason I have that outline is to keep the flood all on the cookie. I don't want my flood dripping over the side of the cookie and running there because then it kind of ruins the design a little bit. And here I'm just putting pressure, bubbling that icing out of my tip and I'm pushing it right up against that next section. I'm not getting my tip right in there, I'm pushing the icing in there so that it's a nice, smooth, clean line. And then we're going to set this aside for a little while for it to dry. And once it's dry, we can work on the next step, which will be his nose. So I've got my red outline consistency. And when you have smaller details like this, that are kind of puffy details, the more that you fill it, the easier it is to smooth that out. So I kind of have a nice good dollop of icing there. So I'm right in there with my scribe, nice and deep into that icing. And then as I'm trying to smooth out the top, I kind of lightly, lightly just smooth my scribe over the top and it gives me a nice round puffy dollop of icing for his nose. And then we're just going to do two little dots for his eyes. So I keep the bag in the same spot and I wiggle it just a little bit to smooth it out as I'm piping. And then giving him a little smile here. Every time I'm doing small lines, small details, I keep the bag really close to the to the cookie and I'm just going to add his antler. So I'm putting pressure and dragging my bag, putting pressure and dragging my bag down. And again, on the other side, we're going to put pressure on in the same spot and drag the bag down. And as I'm dragging, I'm letting go of the pressure just a little bit. And there we have it. We have a nice, fun, cute little reindeer. Next up, we're going to do Santa's face. So here I have my flood icing because it's easy to spread and I'm just going to paint the middle of the cookie here. This is going to be his face, the background, and this will just create a little bit of a dimension to his face. We don't have to cover the whole cookie, just enough where, you know, two thirds of the cookie where his face is going to be. We want to cover a bigger area that we're going to pipe on. If you do need more icing to cover, then you can add some icing and paint over it again. And once we let that dry for a couple minutes, it's a pretty thin layer, it should dry quickly, we can move on to the next step. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these two little lines on the side and I'm going to create like an oval shape right where his face is going to be. So the top half is going to be his hat and the bottom half is going to be his beard, which I'm going to outline now. And again, you touch down when you start and then when you have a whole curve there, you only have to touch down at the points that you're changing directions or stopping and starting. I try not to touch down on curves because then the line gets smoother. If you have a change in direction or a stop and start point, you can touch down or a sharp corner, you can also touch down. And here I'm not quite happy where my outline came out. It's a little bit too far inwards. I like to keep my outline right up to the edge. You don't have to, it comes with practice. Um, but I just want to show you that if something goes wrong or the, you know, the icing fell on the wrong side, you know, it's not close enough to the edge or it cut halfway through your, your line and the icing kind of, there's an air bubble and your icing stream stopped and you made a mistake. You can always scrape it off right away and restart. Sometimes when I'm filming, I can't see the cookie really well because I'm not looking over top of it. So it's hard for me to see right up to the edge. So here I'm just going to try to go and do this one more time, nice and close to the edge. And I'm a little bit more happy with this one now. And I usually like to let my outline dry. Sometimes when you don't let it dry, when you're going to flood like this, if the outline is not secure and dry, it the flood will push that line out a little bit. 
and sometimes I push it off the cookie so that's why I'll try to let it dry if you don't have time you can go and flood right away it's okay but if you have a minute or two or have other cookies to work on then you can leave it aside and then come back and now we're gonna do the top of his hat here I've let the bottom dry a little bit so that the icing won't run into each other and so I've outlined the hat and while I'm letting that outline dry I'm gonna work on his mustache so I'm just gonna do like a sideways raindrop or teardrop type shape. And this is just a rough shape and then I'm going to go in with my outline consistency. Again, it's a small area. I'm gonna fill this area quite a bit with icing. And when you fill it up very thickly with icing, then it's very easy to smooth out. And I wiggle my bag as I'm doing that just to smooth it out as I'm piping and then go in with my scribe. If I did a really thin layer here for his mustache, it would be very hard for me to thin out because it's thicker icing, but because I squeezed a lot of icing in that small area, it's gonna be easier to thin out. That's done and I'm, my outline has dried. I can go back to the hat and I can pipe slowly here. Just keeping an eye on my outlines and trying to keep it inside the lines. And I go slow, I take my time. If you need to go slower, you can go slower. If you're faster, that's awesome too. But take your time for those small sections especially. And here I'm gonna do the other side of his mustache. And when I'm doing sections like this, if they're touching too much, these are pretty separate, so I don't have to quite let the other side dry, but if they were touching more, then I would have to let that side dry so it didn't run into each other. Then it would keep its shape nice and separate. And again, I'm filling that area, I'm squeezing more icing into that. And this one, I didn't wait for the outline to dry for the mustache, because when I'm doing things like this with my outline consistency, I just do a rough guideline and then pipe right away, and then I just jiggle everything together. Okay, now we're gonna do the top of his hat, so the sort of white fuzzy part. And again, I'm just doing little circles on top. This is my outline consistency. And so you can see it's holding its shape. It's not melting together like my flood would. And then again, the very top of his hat, again, just gonna do little circles, just a rough little, little area there, little dollop of icing. Then I'm gonna add his nose at the top of the mustache. At this point, this mustache is crusted over, it's dry enough for me to do this section with my outline thick consistency. I'm just filling that nose up like a big dot. So when you look at this cookie from the side, it's elevated, you know, the mustache and the nose, you see a nice thick layer of icing. And you can just squeeze in one spot really hard and add that icing and then go in with your scribe and it should smooth out pretty nicely. And then I'll be adding his eyes here, my black icing, just a little dot in, just a little bit of pressure, just to make two small eyes here. And that's your Santa cookie. Okay, now we're gonna do our penguin cookie. So I've roughly scraped in sort of a heart shape because we're gonna do the bottom part of his face different color. So I'm slowly outlining and see, and every time I have a circle or round area, I try not to touch my piping dad bag down until I reach a corner or I'm starting or stopping. And so again, I touch down, I get the icing nice and connected to the cookie, and then I lift up my bag and this just ensures a smooth line. When you're lifting up your piping bag like this, even if you wiggle your bag a little bit, it gives you a nice smooth round line. And then again, I touch down to secure that icing back to where I started. My outline is dried a couple minutes, and then I go in with my flood here. Those little corners at the bottom of his face are really tight. So when you have tight corners, I like to let go of the pressure a little bit because I don't wanna over flood those areas. I don't want my flood to go over that outline because I want to keep that design. I want to keep that shape that I've outlined. And so every time you have a small area, you can always let go a little bit of the pressure. So don't squeeze your bag so hard. So only a touch of icing comes, just enough to fill those areas.
And what I'm gonna do is let this black dry, and then we're gonna come back and flood the white part, the bottom of his face. So you can see now the black is a little bit more matte, it's dried, it's crusted over. And so I know that my icing is not gonna run into each other now. So every time we dry it like this, the sections will stay separate. So I don't have to worry about the icing melting together. Sometimes you want them to melt together and you want like an even surface, but sometimes I like to have this separation. It just gives it a little bit more depth. And again, I'm squeezing really hard the bag here and making the icing work for me up against that other black icing. So not the tip is in there, but the icing is getting pushed into there. So it gives you a nice smooth line. And here I'm using my outline orange. Just drawing a triangle and then right away I go in and flood. These are those small areas. You can see it's thick icing, but because I filled it in nice and high and full of icing, I can smooth it out real easy. And you just at the end when you're almost done smoothing out, you just hover your scribe a little bit on the top there just to get that last little bit out and wiggle it. And then we will add our eyes. Just a little bit of pressure and a little wiggle just to get a nice smooth round dot. And we'll add a few strands of hairs just to give them a little, little detail up top. And there's our penguin. All right, now we're on to Mrs. Claus. So here I'm just going to do a couple of half circles, not all the way up top of the cookie. And this is going to be our hairline. And so again, I touch down when I need to change direction, but when I'm doing a smooth circle, I keep my bag in the air until I'm done and need to touch down to finish my line. And then we are going to flood her hair first. And you can see my finger in the shot there. And so I pipe with my right hand. So I hold the bag in my right hand and then I use my finger to steady the bag and to guide my hand. So I'm not piping one handed. I'm actually kind of piping two handed and it's a lot more steady like that. So if you have trouble holding the bag in the right spot or getting your lines in the right spot, you can always try to do that. Put your finger, the opposite hand that's holding the bag, put it your finger either against the bag or against your palm, and it really helps to steady the bag. And sometimes you need to clean out the tips. If your icing is not coming out, you might have crusted over in, in your bag. So just squeeze the tip of your bag. Just get that little dry ice icing out of the bag and start fresh. And if your icing is never coming out smoothly or it's coming out too fast, you know, you can just adjust it by taking, um, you know, cutting the bag a little bit bigger or cutting the whole little bit, you know, rebagging the icing if it's just too big. So now that we've outlined the bottom of our face, we're going to do the top bun. And again, this is my outline consistency, small little section here. And right away, I'm going to go and flood with the same thick consistency. And I'm just filling up that circle that I just drew. And I'm going to smooth it out nice and easy with my scribe. Small sections like this, you know, the more you fill it with icing, the easier it is to smooth it out. And it gives a nice puffy look to it. And we're just going to add a little detail here. Just the tiniest little bit of pressure. I'm going to add some greenery to our hair, some holly, and just a little tiny pressure. This is a small, small hairline here, so we're just going to add little tiny dots there. And now that I've worked on that detail, my outline down here is dry, so I can go ahead and flood. And when I get to the hair, again, I'm going to put pressure on the bag, and I'm going to make that icing push up right against the hairline. And so what happens is you can see how far the tip is away from the white. The icing is doing all the work for me and I'm making a nice smooth line. If I went in with the tip of my bag, it probably, you know, I would pipe a little bit over the white and then it wouldn't look nice and straight. So this way you kind of guide the icing and the icing will hit up to the edge and it'll make it nice and smooth. And once her face dries a little bit, now we can add the details. So here I have my outline consistency, my thick, nice icing here. And I'm going to draw two circles. This is going to be her glasses. 
I'm staying really close to the cookie, almost touching the cookie because I want to control where that icing is falling and it's a very small circle. These are very small details, so I stay really, really close to the cookie, pretty much hovering right over top. So these will be her glasses and then we're just going to add eyes just above the glasses. So her glasses are kind of sitting on her nose. And then we are going to add her nose. And this is my outline consistency. And again, I'm just in the same spot and I wiggle my bag a little. It smooths it out as I'm piping. And then I go in with my scrub just to get that nice and perfectly smooth. And then we're gonna add a little smile here in the black outline. But because she's Mrs. Claus, we're gonna add some red lips. So I'm just gonna do like a little heart shape right in the middle of the lips. So I'll put a bit of pressure and then just kind of pipe downwards. And there's our Mrs. Claus. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get a chance to make those for Christmas this year. I have a lot more Christmas tutorials coming and I also have some ones that I've already posted. So check out my Christmas playlist. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and as always, happy baking.